Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Let's take some time to talk about mixed cost. A mixed cost is a cost that has a variable and a fixed component. So mixed cost equals variable cost plus fixed cost. Okay. Definition of a of a mixed cost. Now most mixed costs are generated inside a company. So it's not like, you know, they get a statement that says, okay, your fixed cost is this and your variable cost is that. So we need a way to break a total mix cost into the variable components and the fixed components. A variable cost can also be written as rate times activity. So we can say that our mix cost is equal to rate times activity plus fixed cost. Okay. Now if you look at this, right now we've got a list of six months worth of activity. I've got the total cost for that activity and then I've got the actual activity itself. Okay, so how much of something is going on and this is how much it costs for that level of something to happen. So right now we have to figure out a way well how do we break this down so that I've got mixed cost is equal to rate times activity plus fixed cost well we actually have some formulas to do that the first thing that we want to do is we want to calculate our variable rate okay my variable rate can be said to be change in cost divided by change in activity. Activity. Okay. So what we're going to do, because this is called the high low method, is we are going to find the high point and the low point from this list. Now when you're trying to identify the high point and the low point, you're always going to use the activity. Okay, These costs aren't perfect, but we know that the activity measured is perfect. So you always want to use the activity to figure out your high point and your low point. So which one of these months has the highest activity? Okay, and if we look at it, that would be February. So I'm going to put an H next to that number. And then if we look at this number, if we look at this list, which month has the lowest activity? Okay, well that's actually, that's March. Okay, so I'm going to put a low next to March. So now from this table, this is the only information that we're going to use. Okay, once you determine your high point and your low point, that's it. Okay. So the rest of this information, we're not even going to use it. Okay, we're just going to use February and March. So now I can take these two months worth of information and plug them into my formula. So I can say variable rate is equal to the changing cost. So that would be 1441, which is the high point, minus 1134, which is the low point, divided by my change in activity. So it's going to be 1682 minus 1068. And if you simplify that and do the calculation, you're going to get 50 cents. Okay, so now I know that my rate over here is 50 cents. Okay, <clears throat> now if you look back at my formula, you're probably going to look at this and say, well, I still have a lot of stuff that I need to solve for. Okay, I still have a lot of variables left. But if you think about it, my cost, this is actually what? This is the mixed cost, right? So I know that either of these points is a total mixed cost. For activity, well, I also have activity at these two points. So I've also got activity. So now the only thing I've got left to solve for is fixed cost.
Okay, so let's plug this in and see what happens. You have to use either the high point or the low point because this isn't a perfect science when you're doing the high-low method. It's kind of an average. So you have to use either the high point or the low point when you're calculating fixed cost. So what I normally do is I take the high point and I use that to solve and then I use the low point to make sure that I get the same answer. So I've got 1441 equals 50 cents times 1682. Okay, notice those are all numbers from high point plus fixed cost. Okay, and if I simplify this down, half of 1682 is 800. 41 plus fixed cost is equal to 1441. If I subtract this from both sides, I get 600 for fixed cost. Okay, so this is using the high point. Now, if we wanted to, we could also verify this with the low point. So let's do that too. So let's do low as well. 1134 is equal to 50 cents times 1068 plus fixed cost. Okay, so if we take that down, that's 534 plus fixed cost is equal to 1134. Subtract that from both sides. And again, I get 600 is equal to fixed cost. Okay, pretty cool. So now we can actually write a cost formula based on this. Okay, so we can actually say we can take this formula here, okay, and we can write that as a formula for planning. So I can say mix cost is equal to my rate, which is 50 cents times activity plus 600. Okay, so now we can use that to plan going forward. So now let's think about this for a second. So imagine that for July that my activity I'll pick a simple number here, is 1,500. Okay, so if we think that July's activity is going to be 1,500, then what would be my mixed cost? Well, let's plug our numbers in. Mixed cost is equal to 50 cents times 1,500 plus 600. Okay, so half of 1,500 is 750 plus 600 is 1350 equals mix cost. Now the only thing that you have to be careful with here is what if we said instead of that July's activity was going to be 1500 what if we said that third quarter's activity equals let's see let's make it let's do 5000 it's an easy number to work with. Okay, so what happens if third quarter's activity is 5,000? So I would say mix cost is equal to 50 cents times 5,000 plus, now what are we going to add here? Remember, fixed cost is fixed as long as you're within the relevant range, right? Well, what's my relevant range? My relevant range here is a month, okay? we solve this, notice that this is the fixed cost for a month. So if I'm going to have three months of fixed cost, I need to take 600 times three for three months, okay? So my fixed cost is actually going to be 1,800. Okay, why did I do that? Because I've got three months in a quarter. So therefore, I need to have three months of fixed cost, $600 a month times three. My variable cost is going to be 2500 
So my mix cost is going to equal, let's see, 4,300. Okay, that's it. So you can use the high-low method to calculate the fixed and variable components using your variable rate formula. Okay, so you always want to start with that. Remember your high and your low points are based off of activity. You're always going to use activity to determine high and low. Okay, once you have your rate, then you can use your mix cost formula to plug in either the high point or the low point, solve for fixed cost. Then you can use that information for planning going forward. Okay, so this is my cost formula. This is really important. Okay, because this allows us to plan going forward. Then we can use this formula for planning like we did here. We planned for July if July was 1500 and then we also planned for the third quarter if our activity was 5000. Just make sure that your fixed cost equals the number of months that you're planning for.